Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson online. Uh, on this opportunity, we're going to be learning about fractions, operation of fractions with regrouping. Let's get ahead, go ahead and start working on the first problem, the first example. The first step is to uh, set up the problem. So let's go ahead and do this. So it's going to be 2, 3 fifths plus 3 7 tenths. We realize that the denominators are different, so we have to find the least common denominator of the fraction. So let's go ahead and do that. 3 fifth plus 7 tenth. I found the multiple of 5, which is going to be 10. There's a match. Okay, this is going to be times 2. This is going to be times 1. 2 times 3 is 6 tenth plus 1 times 7 tenth. So now I'm going to rewrite the fractions using the like denominators. That is going to be 2 6 tenth plus 3 7 tenth. Let's go ahead and add 7 plus 6. That's going to be 13 tenth. And 2 plus 3 is going to be 5. At this point, we realize that 13 tenth is an improper fraction, so we can break this. Let me write it down over here. 5 is going to be 13 tenth. As I was saying, like, this is an improper fraction, so we can break it into 10 tenth plus 3 tenth. This right here is exactly the same thing as this, but we realize that 10 tenth is one whole. So instead of 6, we're going to have 6 holes. 3 tenth, and this is going to be the answer. Okay, pretty good, awesome. Next one. Now we have a subtraction. Let me set up the problem. It's going to be 5 1 fourth minus 2 2 thirds. I realize, I noticed that the denominators are different. So let's go ahead and find the least common denominator. 1 fourth minus 2 thirds. Okay, I'm going to start with the smallest number, 3, 6, 9, 12, 4, 8, 12, bingo. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, times 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, times 4, then I multiply, 3 times 3, 3 times 1 is 3, it's 12 minus 8, because 2 times 4 is 8, 12. So I'm going to rewrite my fraction. Okay, let me use a different color. It's going to be 5, 3, 12, minus 2, 8, 12. And then we subtract. But 3 minus 8, 3 is too small. You cannot have 3 and then take away, take away 8. So that means I need to regroup. I want to cross out my 5. It's going to turn into a 4. And that whole, I'm going to add it to my fraction. So the whole is going to be 12 twelfths. How do I know it's 12? Because my denominator is 12. So to make one whole, it's going to be 12 over 12. Then I add them up, it's going to be 15 12. Now my numerator is bigger than my other numerator. So 15 minus 8, that is going to be uh, 8, 8, and 16. It's going to be 7 twelfths. And 4 minus 2 is going to be 2. And that is my answer. Right there. Awesome. Good. Let me go ahead and do the next one. The last example. 8 minus 1 eighth. Well, this is going to be very simple. 8 minus 3 1 eighth. Okay, I'm going to regroup. So this is going to be... Because I have 0 eighth right here. Right now, 0 eighth. That's my fraction right there. So to regroup, this is going to be 7th, and then here I'm going to have 8 8th, which is my whole. And now we can subtract, 8 minus 1 is 7 8th, and then 7 minus 3 is going to be 4. There you go. This is going to be my answer. Go ahead and take it practice. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.